Hey guys, so the uh, the single leg hip thrust is a is, is a little uh, variation from the normal hip thrust that you saw uh, in the other video. This one is much more advanced and a little bit more effective, but you're going to want to get used to the two-legged version before you move on to this one. Um, most people aren't going to use any load when they start off with this one, um, and, and it is quite it is quite the challenge. So we're going to go over it. And the nice thing about uh, any single leg work is that as soon as you get on one leg, you get a little bit more activation from the side of the butt and, and the inside. So people keep asking about how, how to work the outer thigh, how to work the inner thigh. Single leg work is a great, great way to do it, whether it's, uh, whether it's in a hip thrust or a split squat or anything like that. Um, I do have a barbell here and I do have a dumbbell here. We'll worry about that in a bit. And again, with the bench, just make sure that you have some support on it. Unlike I do. So the key is here is that you really want to stabilize the knees. So you don't want to move it around as you go here. You really want to stay in line. We're going to have our, our, the edge of our bench around the upper back, around the bra strap area. Chin's going to stay tucked the whole way. Abs are going to be tight. And I like to get my knee up just a little bit. And I push hard, keeping my whole foot down. Chin comes down, abs are tight. I'm getting a big squeeze in the butt here. Now, as far as loading goes, I'm not going to worry about the barbell, it's going to get a little bit heavy. But one way to load it would be to, on the working side hip, just put a dumbbell right here and you can support it with both hands if you want. And you're coming up. Abs are tight, hips through, and a big squeeze in the butt. So as far as technique flaws go, it's, it's, the, same, it's the same deal really as the, uh, as the two-legged version. You want to keep that chin packed the whole way. You want to keep your abs tight so you don't want to be arching your back as you do it. You really want to be coming through the hip. And, and anytime you're on single leg, you really want to keep that knee stable. Since you're pushing through the knee, you don't want it wobbling around. You really want it to stay in this lane. Um, as far as programming implications go, we're just going to go three or four sets. And usually around 8 to 12 reps and maybe higher. But you, for the most part, most people will be fried after 8 to 12 reps. So you don't usually go higher, but you can definitely do it. Um, that's about it. So. Uh, that's the single leg hip thrust. If you have any questions on that one, uh, leave some comments below or uh, drop me a line anytime you want.